I really like my 8x42s. I never leave home without my 10x50s. I love using 8x32s for my walks with kids. I love my 10x42s, but I'm also really excited to upgrade to 10x50s. I switched from 8x42s to 8x32s, and I wouldn't switch back. What do the numbers mean? There are two main things to consider when choosing binoculars, magnification and lens diameter. The first numbers are the strength of the magnification, or how close the object appears. The second number is the size of the lens diameter. The lens diameter interacts with magnification to determine brightness. Here I have an 8 by pair of binoculars. The image appears 8 times closer than when viewed without a pair of binoculars. If you compare that to these 10 by pair of binoculars, that means I have a higher strength of magnification. So I'm going to be able to view my object closer compared to the 8 bys In general, a larger lens diameter indicates a larger aperture, which can offer a brighter view. These 8 by pair of binoculars have a 32 millimeter lens, which lets in a good amount of light. Compare that to these 8x pair of binoculars which have a 42 millimeter lens which lets in even more light. Think of it as looking through a larger window. This means better performance in low light conditions like in a forest, on a cloudy day, or at sunrise or sunset. Now the trade-off is that the larger the lens, the larger and heavier the binocular. When I'm looking at warblers 60 feet up in a canopy, I don't want to use some dinky 7x binoculars. The bigger the better. 8x42s offer great visibility in low light, which is great for field research when you're trying to read color bands on birds at dawn or dusk. I really like the Celestron 8x32 binoculars. They are just the right size for small people's hands. And the interpupillary distance, which is the distance between these two eyepieces, can get nice and small, which is important with young people. 32 millimeter binoculars are smaller and more lightweight than their 42 millimeter equivalents. And they also tend to have a significantly wider field of view, which is really helpful if you're trying to follow a bird as it darts from branch to branch in the understory. I use 10 by 42s because I want as much magnification as I can handle without the image getting shaky. But even more important to me than the size of the magnification is the size of the lens. I want a nice bright view so I can see a lot of color and detail. When choosing a pair of binoculars, figure out what is most important to you. Do you want a higher magnification? Are you working in low light conditions? Or do you want a pair of binoculars that are lightweight and compact? We recommend you try a variety of binoculars and get a feel for the differences so that you can choose the best binocular for your situation and budget. Whatever your numbers, get outside and enjoy nature.